Hi everyone, I thought I'd make a Pogobank KG video because I've been messing around trying to make a team for it and it's actually been kind of successful, I guess. I don't know. I'll probably keep tinkering with it over time. But like, I made a background as well for Showdown. Or like a custom background because like, I keep forgetting what the terrains do. And I keep forgetting which very low, like, confuses which nature. I, I don't know. So anyway, we'll look at the team. We have a fairly bulky Tapu Fini set. And we have Scald and Leftover for the main uh, what? Scald and Moonblast for the main stab. Ice Beam for coverage. I guess, for like, grass types if I have to deal with them. If ho will get scared, I don't know. Then we have Defog for if I need to get rid of Watch Call It, because I couldn't think of a decent Rapid Spinner to use. And we have Leftovers for Recovery. And again, full HP, full Special Attack, and full Special Defense. And it's modest. Again, ho has probably been the best Pokemon on the team so far. Like, it's... I don't know. So we got Sacred Fire and Brave Bird for main stab, as usual. And we got Earthquake for other fire types. And we got Iron Head for fairies and stuff like that. And we have Leftovers and Regenerator for recovery. For HP, full attack, and for special defense. Because, I mean, I don't know if many people know this. I only found this out recently. But Sacred Fire is a physical attack. So that's kind of weird. Anyway, so. The first thing. The, first, the third thing on the party is an executor set that I thought of. Or I didn't think of it. I saw it in a video and, like, expanded on it. So credit to Duncan Needeep for the watch call up for the idea. So it has Giga Drain and Dragon Hammer as the main attacks. But then we have Protect and Sunny Day. So the idea is that it gets down to a quarter health. It uses a staff berry. And it ra raises a random stat by two. And with Harvest, it has like a 50% chance to restore it, but 100% in Sun. So the idea again is that you get down to Quarter Health, you use your Staff Berry. Then, if Sunny Day is up, you definitely get another one. So you get two boosts in one turn. Then you protect next turn. And then hope you either get a special attack or a physical attack boost. And then you kind of just go from there, I guess. It hasn't been too successful yet. But I feel like it could work, so I've been running it. And we got Spiritomb. That is actually a really cool Pokemon. Like, the idea is that it was made out of 108 spirits. And the fact that it has 108 special defense and 108 physical defense basically suggests that it's like it uses the spirits as almost like a meat shield or something. So that's kind of creepy, I guess. Um, so for the main attacks, we have Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse. Then, if I think I can survive it here, I'll use Will O Wisp. To cripple physical attackers. And we got Nasty Plot if I want to get a bit of a boost. Um, Shadow Ball and Dark Pulse just have the same base power. So, like, it doesn't really matter which one you use most of the time. As long as it isn't, like, not very effective or a normal type, then it's normally just whatever. And we have Darkinium Z, or Z, whatever you wanna, however you wanna say it. I normally just say Z because it's easier, even though I'm 
not American. But um, so we got two fifty eight, uh, two forty eight for HP, and we got two fifty two for special attack, and eight for special defense. Then we have Nihilego, I think he, that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, but this is probably one of my favorite Ultra Beasts to use, and it's just like. You set up Stealth Rocks and Toxic Spikes. Focus Sash guarantees that you do that. Unless they have some kind of special gimmick or whatever. Then, if you if it's still there, you can sludge away with a Power Gem. And get as much damage off as possible. Now, one time I did this and I kind of swept with it. But, that's cool I guess. Sorry about the cough, I haven't been feeling the best, but we got like full, spe full speed, full special defense, and full um, special attack. So that way, if it does get to the point where we're still alive fourth turn, then we can just do as much damage as we can. And last slot, I didn't really know what to use for a Mega. So it just kind of went with an old Lucario set that he used to use. So we got Bullet Punch and High Jump Kick as the main stab. And we got Crunch and Blaze Kick for just coverage I guess. Then Steadfast you can switch into a Mega Kangaskhar. Then you take a Fake Out and you get boosted speed. So that's cool. Um, and we got Full physical attack, full, um, full speed, and full special defense. So yeah, that's the team I've been using so far. And we'll give it a go, I guess. Oh, um, before I forget, all of the sprites here, the, the Tapu sprites are from Showdown. Like, Pokemon Showdown. And the Berry sprites. I guess they're called sprites, I don't know, they're not really that pixelated, but the berry art is from Global Link. So that's the thing. So they're gonna lead with the Fairy Arceus. Fairy? Yep, Fairy. Um Gonna send gonna send out. I'm gonna use Stealth Rock because Okay then. See this is gonna this is the reason why I use Defog. So I think I'm gonna switch into Lucario and see if I can get the Bullet Punch. And yeah, or well, I can get the Bullet Punch, but like, y you know what I mean. Okay, so it's one of these sets. So, I think I'm going to use the Z-Move. Or I'm just going to get dunked on. Um, hmm. So, I think the best thing I can do is like get rid of Stealth Rocks. And I can switch back into Nihilego and set up again. Hopefully. I don't know. At least this way it'll not break the sash. So, defog worked. So that's Helpful, I guess. So I'm going to switch back into Nihilego. Um. Hmm. So I'm gonna go for step. Okay, then. That's the thing. Why didn't I think of this? So I'm gonna go for the Iron Head. I'm not gonna 
take much damage from judgment because I'm a fire type. Um, probably gonna get roared out this turn anyway. Or not? Okay, that's cool. So I could switch and get more health back because of Regenerator, but it depends what he switches in next. Okay, I'm cool with this, Brave Bird. If he switches in the Zygarde, I think the only counter I have for it really is Tapu Fini. Like, I don't really have a reliable watch caller. Fairy type apart from that. So that's the thing. Hmm. But yeah, I think Lunala's cooler than Solgaleo. Because it's like this big spooky bat thing. So that's cool. So I'm stuck with Stealth Rock now. Because I can't watch Cooler. I guess we just hope that Lunala doesn't have um, Mirror Coat or whatever it was back here, Magic Coat. I don't think it gets it, but I'm not sure, so... Oh, doesn't matter anyway. I'm getting swept by Lunala. So... I guess the best idea is just crunch. And hope that I move fast. Because it's Psychic Ghost, it isn't. Oh, well... I can't remember if Moongeist Beam is Psychic or Ghost, but like, whatever. Um, don't really want to go Dragon Hammer because Misty Terrain's still up, and it lowers the damage of Dragon type moves. So it's pretty much GG at this point. Um, can protect and hope for another Whatchamacallit. Eee, things that I don't need. Okay, then. So, Misty Terrain's gone, so I'm gonna get dunked on. And GG. Scott, Scott. Hmm. So, let's just hope that the um, Arceus doesn't have magic coat. And Stealth Rock. Oh, cool. See, this is how it's meant to work. As opposed to what happened last game. But there we go. Um, this is normal. This is normal type. So I'm gonna... Hmm. Gonna Mega Evolve and go for Crunch Predict and switch into Gengar. Because if I high jump kick, then it's gonna not affect Gengar and, like, do half damage. That isn't what I expected, but okay. Not what I expected to happen. So I'm gonna switch into Spiritomb and hope that I can land a Will O Wisp before it earthquakes and just kills my whole team. Um. If it has Judgment, it isn't gonna affect. Hmm. But then it can just use Earthquake because I haven't got Levitate. I don't think... No, Spiritomb gets Pressure and Infiltrator. Oh, by the way, I'm running Im Infiltrator on this set, so... Oh boy, Lumberry. My favorite thing. <laughs> or it's okay if you're using it yourself, it just sucks when you go to, like, burn something and it doesn't work. But yeah, I haven't really 
completed moon yet. Like I've had it since release date and I still have to reset I still have to soft reset for the two seller stealer Guzzlord and one of Gazerka Tree. Again, I still have to Tapu Finny to SR for. I haven't gotten to the battle tree yet. Or I have done, but like, I haven't fought red or blue yet. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> oh, well, it's been out for how long now? A couple of months. Most people probably either got it on launch or Christmas, so. Yeah, that's my mistake. So it's steel type. So I'm gonna just will a wisp. I'm gonna die first anyway. Um So I'm gonna switch into Rainbow Chicken. Cause it's like the best thing on the team. Gonna go for a sacred phone. And it's gonna like take out the rest of the thing. So I'm assuming he got rid of Stealth Rock to switch a new Veltal and Rayquaza without much of an issue. Um Hmm. Predicting the sucker punch. Oh, foul play. But yeah, shiny Valtor is cool. Looks like bacon. But then I bet people have already heard that a lot. Kind of a overused joke at this point, but whatever. Um. Hmm. I think he's gonna go for a solar beam. I don't know if that's a normal thing that Groudon runs. But I'm gonna switch into ho oh Cause the only thing he can really do much damage with is Stone Edge, I think. Fire Blast as well, but like... I resist it, so it shouldn't do much. Or, uh... Oh, a resistor. And why would he fire blast the Tapu Finny anyway? Um, so he's gonna sword stand. Brilliant. I'm gonna go for the earthquake because it's a fire type now. It was cool how we did that. But then Kyogre just stayed water type. So that's kind of annoying, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I'd say the most annoying set I came across in this tire, tier, whatever, however you want to say it, is someone using a Moody Glalie. And from memory, Garan, I think it was Protect, Substitute, Freeze, Dry, and Sheer Cold. And because it's AG, um... Oko moves aren't banned, and neither is Moody, or Evasion Boost, so like, it was just really, like, he, he or she substituted and then just protected in between, because it got to the point where I was breaking substitute every turn and then we'd protect the next turn to get leftovers back because they had leftovers and then they would set up another substitute and then it got to the point where their accuracy was boosted by Moody so it ended up being they sheer cold at ho -Oh, so I had really nothing to deal with it Apart from, this was before I put Lucario on the team. Can't remember what I had. 
before again. I didn't have a mega. Scar was a thing. Um, so I can really... I don't know if I'm going to win this at this point. Because I thought I was going to lose, but now it's 2-2. Two, two, or 2 left. On each team, technically 4-4, four, four, but you know. Um, I can just Moonblast the Avalto. That should deal with it. And again, I don't really have anything for the Gengar. So like, I guess I'll switch into Executor. And then hope it, okay. I was hoping it would knock me down to like a quarter and I could do the thing, but whatever. So I'm just gonna scold because it's a poison type. Oh, GG. Got wrecked. <sighs> See, this team is kind of a bit iffy at times. Um, if one of the covers for something gets taken down, then it just kind of all collapses. This team doesn't have a poison type, so I can just Toxic Spikes. Because if you didn't know, you can get rid of Toxic Spikes by switching in a Grounded Poison type. So like, Muck, or Salazzle, or any of those really. Um, he's set up Confuse Energy, and that's kind of a bit... Kind of a bit not too nice. That makes no sense at all. So I'm just gonna mega... I jump kick, I guess, and hope he don't protect. Oh, cool. Oh, good. <laughs> That's lucky, I guess. So, I'm guessing he's just gonna king shield you. But I'm gonna blaze kick anyway. I don't really have anything else I can do. Apart from switching to ho and then he'll probably king shield again. So, you know, I outspeed so it's going to be before the form change so it doesn't do as much damage as it could have. I uh, shouldn't have switched into ho because he's going to king shield, yeah, rip. Um, he won't do two in a row. Wait, what? Why didn't I get the attack drop from... Sacred Fire is a physical move. I said that a minute ago. So why didn't I get the attack drop? Did it say up here? Did it? Yeah, it mentions attack felt harshly. So I didn't... Huh. If you guys know what happened there, then could you let me know? This is Zoroark. Lucario can't get thing. Zoroark's a really fun Pokemon now. Okay, forfeit. Um, I used to use a Zoroark last gen in Gen 6 OU, and it was really fun. Like, from memory, I used to run Zoroark, Gardevoir, Garchomp, Golurk, and Gigalith, I think. And something else with if I guess whatever I was feeling like using at the time. Um so he flinched. I keep forgetting his Pokebank, so every Greninja isn't battle bond anymore. Majority of them are watch caller. Shouldn't have done that because this isn't dark type anymore. But okay, I hope it goes for something silly. Oh, okay. Good, good predict, I guess. I don't. Yeah, go and sack it off. Yay. Okay, cool. So we actually got a kill for once. Oh, I shouldn't say got a did. 
got a few kills last game, but whatever. Something I noticed is a lot of people in Pokebank AG don't really know what GLHF means. So just for anyone watching who might not know it means good luck, have fun. I'll kind of just make a point of saying it before every game. Don't know why, I'm just used to doing it at this point. Um, <laughs> it's just like one of those weird habits I have. So yeah, that's the thing. But I honestly don't know which is my favorite out of all of the tapus. Like, it used to be that I liked all of them the same apart from Tapu Bulu. I didn't, it's not that I didn't like Tapu Bulu, it's just that I didn't, I wasn't really the biggest fan of its design, I guess. So now I have no counter for Zygarde whatsoever because I was wittering. Um, I'm gonna save the black hole eclipse thing for if I survive with Greninja. Okay, cool. Let's hope he switches in Zygarde. No, okay. I'm just gonna use it again because I wanna... That was a waste. I thought we always hit, but okay then. I'm gonna will away, so I'm not gonna survive anyway because it's a shadow force from a Giratina. If I had a normal type, then I would have switched into it, but I don't, so I couldn't. Um, it has Levitate, so I can't Earthquake. I'm gonna go into Lucario. And. I guess I'll crunch, I doubt I'll outspeed her. Oh, okay, cool. And shadow force, again. Um, what can take it? Shadow Force. I was thinking maybe if I switch you and I can, like, not have to deal with Shadow Force again. But whatever, I guess I'll just spam Crunch. So I should outspeed unless it's, yeah? I was gonna say I should outspeed unless it's a speed tie, but like, I did, so cool. Um,. Huh. So Shem didn't put the Dragon Z move on Executor. I usually do that, but like... I wanted to try out the Staff Berry idea. So that's the thing. Um, the rest of my team isn't too fast compared to the highest risk can go. I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wind head. Oh boy, okay. Fun. Fun times to be had by all. <sighs> this is a thing, man. This is gonna outspeed an Oko. Oh, okay, maybe not. So, plus defense, I'm going to... This is what I was trying to avoid, but okay again. Um, I'm gonna protect and hope for another Staff Berry boost, and hope that it's something good, like maybe, I don't know, attack boost, because Dragon Hammer, um, yeah, it's pretty much GG. Well, that's cool. Um... But yeah, I never honestly knew that non-volatile status conditions were a thing before. Like, I mean, apparently any status condition that lasts outside of battle. So like, if you get into a wild encounter, you get poisoned and then you run. You'll still be poisoned after. So that's a thing, I guess. I never knew there was a split between them, but there we go. I never thought it was an actual word for him, I just... Huh. Well, hey, at least I have a way to block Toxic. Wait, what if Tapu Finny got Psychic and I could... Huh. 
and I could deal with poison types. I'll check after. I'll check after this. Um, so the idea I had with this was because I've been finding AG so far, it, um, I was gonna just use the same team and tinker with it. So that's a thing. Um, he doesn't, he has Venusaur. So I'm just gonna prioritize Stealth Rock over Toxic Spikes, because he can't get rid of that unless he has a Rapid Spinner. Or a Defogger. Which I think Xerneas might get Defog. But you never see it on it anyway if it does, so. Don't know if it actually does or not. Um. Arceus might get Defog. I don't remember. Hmm. But yeah, um. I find it weird that you can only get Regenerate a ho -Oh from Gen 5. Like, I mean, I get that it's like, oh, it's a rare thing and everything. But I think it would have been cool if you could have a small chance of getting hidden abilities from the hoop portals last gen. Then it isn't so much of a, hey, you know, putting up on eBay, this thing. I don't know. don't know what I'm saying at this point. So I've set up Toxic Spikes and Stealth Rock. I haven't got enough up for Toxic Poison, just regular poison. Or badly poisoned, I think it's officially called, but whatever. Um... I'll have to see if Tapu Fini gets Psychic after this, so. Cause, if I replace Ice Beam with Psychic, then I could counter, like, Nihilego and Salazzle and all of them. Cause I haven't seen Salazzle in AG yet, but like, it is decent for Toxic and stuff. Also Toxapex. I haven't seen that yet either, but like, I'm sure it's a thing somewhere. Um, so this Groudon's taken out two thirds of my team now. I'm just going to switch into Lucario and Bullet Punch. And hope that he doesn't have priority. For whatever reason, I don't think Groudon gets priority. I don't know. Yep, cool. So that's the Groudon down. Something I think would be cool though, if it was a nighttime status thing. So like, the sunny day, and that boosts recovery from synthesis. So what if there was a night version that boosted, whatchamacallit, this is mega. Unless Rayquaza is mega. Oh cool. So, players get them. Um, but like, just imagine if it was a nighttime one, that boosts either dark, ghost, or fairy moves, and boosts recovery from moonlight. That'd be pretty cool, I think. Um, Lucario's gonna go down this turn anyway, because it's a thunderous. So I guess I'll just get as much damage as I can off. Huh. So, I guess my best bet is Spiritomb. I mean, it's flying electric, so... If it has a flying type move, it'll body executor. Hmm. But yeah, I've been watching the Sun and Moon anime. And it's actually decent, I think. Like... Ridicu ridicule me all you want and laugh at me and whatever, but I actually think it's decent. The art style is... eh. I don't really know too much about anime art styles, but like... The art style isn't the best. But I just like the whole idea of like, oh it's... what you call it? I shouldn't have done that, I just saw Dazzling Gleam. I should not have done this. Um, 
That was a bad idea. Um, huh. I mean, I would have thought it just Dazzling Gleam and Oko or whatever. But I guess not. I, I don't... I don't really get it. I don't... How did Exekito not get Okoed by that Rayquaza? Okay, so the thing I want is a speed boost. Give me a speed boost, please. Then I can outspeed Rayquaza, and I can Dragon Hammer. Unless he switches. Um... Ugh. Wait, what? I thought I was... Why? Did I not... Huh. Does Harvest only work once? Is, is that a thing that happened? Well, either way I've lost this game, so... GG, I guess. Uh, even less a chance of winning. <laughs> Not that I had one before, but whatever. It's gold now with sunny days down. Why does he keep switching? I mean, I guess it's a he, because Noddy. Noddy's cool. I used to watch Noddy on the telly. I don't know if it's the same Noddy. I don't know if Noddy is actually a name or not. But, like, Noddy on TV was childhood, man. I need to make, like, a childhood memory team. That'd be cool. Like, maybe Noddy... Some kind of Teletubby... I don't know, that could be cool. That could be fun. Well, GG anyway. So... I need to check if Tapu Fini gets psychic. It doesn't, okay. I mean, if it did, that would have been a decent counter for poison types. Because it stops poison because non-volatile status conditions get stopped. Uh, that sounds really posh. It's like... I... Looked it up on Bulbapedia. I don't usually use Bulbapedia, but like, for whatever reason, I have been for good terrain effects. And, um, it, it just says non volatile. I think it said non volatile status, volatile, and. But. Non volatile status conditions, volatile status conditions, and then. I think it was Volatile Battle statuses or something. So like Confusion and stuff. That's why Confusion isn't included in Non-Volatile. But I actually never knew about uh, Grassy Terrain having Earthquake and stuff. So yeah, that's cool. But anyway, um, that's the end of the video, I guess. If you have any suggestions to how I can improve the team, then let me know. I think the first things I'll change if I have to are Spiritomb and Lucario. I think the rest of the team is decent, because we've got... We have the Waterfire, Grass Base, and, like, Stealth Rock and Toxic Spikes. Golem might be a... Decent replacement for Nihilego. Like, then I could, um, what do you call it? Then I could Stealth Rock, I think it gets spikes, and then Explosion. But Galvanize a boost and make it electric type. I don't know. That might be an idea. I'm gonna try that out. But, um,. If you have, like, a Galvanized Pokemon, so Alolan Golem, and you give it a normal type Z-move crystal thing, would that affect Explosion, or would you have to use the electric one? 
Because it's like aerial eight, but with electric instead of flying. Like it boosts and then... I don't know. So, yeah, um... I just figured I'd say this, by the way. I just remembered. Um, sorry about the lack of uploads. There was this weird thing going on where it was like... I'd record a video... And then... It'd be really... It'd, like, freeze up in parts. So... I'm pretty sure it... F stopped. I'm pretty sure I fixed it. But, um... Yeah, if you see this video, then it did fix it. And I'm just gonna put my Twitter in the description, not because I want to promote it, but because if I can't record for whatever reason, or, you know, I have an issue with recording, then I normally post it there. So, yeah. Um, there is also a lot of, like regurgitating memes kind of thing though so if you're not into that then don't follow it's fine but yeah that's the end of the video and i'll see you next time